Good day, my fellows, and welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to get the um, Arbalistic uh, Advancement. Kill five unique mobs with one crossbow shot. So, as you can see, for this advancement, we have to kill, as said, uh, five different mobs with a crossbow shot. In order to get the, this advancement, you are going to need a piercing for a crossbow, an arrow, uh, a splash potion of poison two. How to brew that, I'm going to show you in a second. Then also seven building blocks, a oak trapdoor, and five mobs of your choice. I'm going to show you um, why I picked these five mobs and how to get them into your contraption. Now before we start into the video, of course I'd appreciate if you would go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if this video helps you out. I put a lot of work into these videos and every single like, subscribe or comment is really appreciated. So if you want to support the channel then do all of that and uh, also go ahead and check out my other advancement tutorials. I did tutorials so basically every advancement that you can make a tutorial about, even about things like how did we get here, I did a tutorial. So yeah, now I'm going to show you how to uh, get the... I, I can't really say it. The Arbalistic <laughs> um, advancement. So, first of all you want to take your building blocks, we're going to build the uh, contraption first and then we're going to get the animals in. So, first of all you want to build your little contraption, which is not really a contraption, but it's uh, just a one by one cage with a trapdoor on the bottom like this so, and you can also make a little stairway if you want to do it like that something like this now you want to get all of your animals in i uh, chose the cow the chicken the sheep the pillager and also the pig and uh yeah how to get uh, this all in i'm going to show you in a second so for the cow you have to load that with wheat and the same goes actually for the uh, for the sheep so cows and sheep are going to follow you when you have wheat in your hand and you just will have to try to get them in this hole. It is going to be a little bit annoying because working with animals always is, or especially moving mobs uh, always is. So you will have to make some staircases uh, to get them in, but yeah, basically you want to have all of them into uh, a one by one hole. So here we go with the sheep. It's also better if you do them one by one, so you have a little like more control uh, on how you want to get them into your contraption. What you can also do is press F3 and B, you still can see the hitbox and if it lines up with the hole then you can easily push the sheep for example in there. Next one is the cow, same as with the sheep, you're just going to use the wheat. Now for the pigs you can use carrots, so they're just going to follow you if you have a carrot in your hand. And yeah, as I said, again the same as with the other ones, you just have to uh, lure him and then push him in the hole. Also the chicken is just like any of the other ones, except that it is easier to get the chicken in there. And yeah, you just have to, as I said, do the same again. Uh, also you don't have to use the mobs that I'm using, you can also use other mobs. You just have to make sure that they are not undead, like zombies or skeletons. Uh, and that they don't have too much health. A villager has 20 health points, which is uh, alright, but if I were you, I wouldn't go way above that. So in my opinion, the villager is the hardest one to do. Uh, I made a whole tutorial on how to move villagers, actually I told you the uh, top 5 ways to do that, but I'm going to show you one of these methods now. So basically uh, you're going to pick up a villager with a minecart from your villager breeder or just by, from a nearby village. Also to encourage you to build this anyway in a, a near a village, uh, because you have a lot of animals there already and as said it's easy to move the villager uh, into the contraption. Of course you don't have to. I use a villager, but every other mob works too, for example a rabbit or something like that. But just in this case we're going to use the villager. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, make a railway uh, from wherever you pick up the villager to this contraption. You're just going to build a wall right here. And now let's say we have a villager right here and we have to pick him up. Oops. We just have to pick him up with a minecart, which you can do by just make a track next to him and roll the minecart there. So when you caught your villager, you're just going to push him up this slope. And also what uh, is important, so you really have to push him in there. And you want to build really a cage around him so he doesn't uh, like pop out randomly uh, anywhere. So he, what you want to do is, as I said, build a little cage around him. And also uh, hit F3 and B again. So you can see his and the minecart hitbox. And now you want to avoid his, but hit the minecarts one. And he's going to fall into your contraption. So the next thing you want is you want to have your crossbow ready. What you can also do is go ahead and go one, two, three blocks away and then dig a hole into the ground. That way you will not um, uh, trade with the villager if he wants to. Uh, so basically what you now want to do is get a uh, potion of poison. So for that you're going to need a brewing stand, a water bottle, a nether wart, a spider eye, a glowstone dust and gunpowder. Now first you want to start placing down your 
um, brewing stand and then put your water bottle in and your nether ward. What you're also going to need is one piece of blaze powder if your brewing stand isn't powered and then you just have to put the blaze powder in at the top left. So your water bottle will now be converted into a awkward potion. Next thing you want to do is put in a spider eye. After that glows and dust. And last but not least, the gunpowder. And you're going to get the splash potion of poison. And what you can also do is grab yourself another building block and get on top of your contraption and uh, throw the poison potion there so you really can reach all of the mobs. You're going to get hit too, but that doesn't really matter because it won't kill you. So throw the potion and wait till every single mob, especially the villager, uh, is not um, doing the hurt animation anymore or doesn't uh, turn red, which should happen now. And I just can go ahead and aim with your crossbow and crouch down and aim into the middle and shoot. And you have to also <laughs> be able to hit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you have to uh, aim a little bit more up, but you have to make sure that you ha uh, hit the chicken. So shoot. There we go. <laughs> and you're going to get the Arbalistic Advancement. So this is a relatively easy advancement, though it is actually a secret one, so you don't see that. Um, and it's just like the how do we get here, I said, a secret advancement. I don't know why, because as I said, it's really, really easy to do, not like uh, how do we get here, which is by far the most difficult advancement. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and check that out, and also go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel. It's a really small channel, and I love seeing it grow, and if you don't want to subscribe, that is of course completely fine, but as I said, leaving a like and uh, leaving a comment helps the channel out so, so much. You're really the most people don't know what a big impact that actually does, so yeah, I'd really, really appreciate that, and with that being said, see you next video. Bye.